Kenya has been opposition alliance as it has chosen veteran opposition leader Raila Odinga as its candidate for the forthcoming presidential election. The 72-year-old will face off against President Uhuru Kenyatta, who is running for a second and final five-year term. Veteran politician Raila Odinga will represent Kenya's opposition alliance in the presidential election in August, his fourth time as a presidential candidate. His nomination was announced by leaders of the National Super Alliance, known by its acronym NASA, to cheering supporters at a rally on Thursday. In as much as maybe um, it's been a while, I mean, uh, he's been trying to run for presidency for uh, a number of times without success. I think uh, NASA has actually made the, one of the uh, nicest choices, given the fact that this could be his last chance. And I think with the coming together of the different parties, maybe chances are very high that this time round he'll be able to, to clinch the presidency. In an acceptance speech, the 72-year-old former Prime Minister, the loser in Kenya's last two presidential polls, pledged to lower food prices and tackle corruption. He has also promised public sector reforms and a stronger local government. All of my fellow party principals have declared that I am the one to run for office. I'm very honored by the gesture and goodwill bestowed upon me by my core principles. And now I am the one who will be flying our coalition's flag in the upcoming elections. We have agreed that the coalition government we are going to form will be of transitional in nature, transitional and transformative government, and will sweep all the filth of the current Jubilee regime to the sea. Odinga, who comes from one of Kenya's most powerful political families, will try to unseat President Uhuru Kenyatta, the wealthy son of the country's first president and the head of the ruling Jubilee Party, who is seeking a second term. Kenyans go to the polls on August 8 to elect a president, lawmakers and local officials. The giant African snail is sought after in parts of the world for its nutritional and cosmetic benefits. Here in Algeria, some entrepreneurs have found opportunities to export the product abroad. Quitting an events planning job last year to invest in snails was the best career move Ulua Tobilola Ohioma Bello says she has ever made. The entrepreneur sources snails from farmers in Lagos, Nigeria and sells them to clients locally and abroad. Oluwa Tobilova collects the giant African land snails per she's, which are used in the beauty and food industries. The snails are increasingly being sought for their mucus, said to be full of collagen, glycolic acid, antibiotics and other compounds that regenerate skin cells and heal cuts. Snail meat is also said to be nutritious. It is low in cholesterol and rich in proteins, making it a popular delicacy in various cultures. Oluwa Tobiloba is preparing to ship her first consignment of 1,000 snails to the United Kingdom. The export business came when I started here in, in Lagos and I had a lot of inquiries from the US, from UK, from Holland, like a lot of Nigerians. Like Even when I knew that I'd not even covered Lagos, even till now, I've still not covered Lagos, you know. So when I started having inquiries via email, via phone calls, then a lot of African stores were calling me, oh, can you supply us? And you know, in, my, in my head, it just clicked that, oh, there's a market for it. So that's how the export thing started, even though it took me a while to be able to um, find out um, the modalities of, of exporting snails, you know, outside of Nigeria. Snail Care Farm is one of Ulua Tobilaba's suppliers. The 19-year-old farm breeds free-range snails. They roam and feed on greenery around the farm. Snails are hermaphrodites, which means they can only lay eggs. The farm currently has over 20,000 snails. Tadzio Okiria, the snail care farm managing director, says demand for his snails has been growing fast in recent years. Because of its um, amazing benefits, not just nutritional benefits, but other benefits. Like, um, for instance, the slime now is being harvested massively and using cosmetics and then cosmetics and pharmaceutical products it has the reju rejuvenating properties and helps with um, skin rejuvenation 
Olua Tobiloba has spent about 4,000 U.S. dollars to procure and ship this consignment of snails and expects to make a healthy profit.